So, best practice arguments in politics. Now, um, like in general, you, you get the stereotypical refrain that a lot of people want politics to be run like a business. So, I kind of realized that's in part true for me when you take best practice arguments into consideration. So best practices in the context of business are you look at other companies who are doing something very well, learn what you can from them, recontextualize it, and make it your own. So the best analogy for that in the political realm would be looking at other countries, seeing what they're doing well, seeing how it can apply to your country. Like that would be like the best practice argument equivalent for politics. And I've kind of realized I am very, very open to these arguments. Like, one of the reasons I'm open to changing the paradigm for how we handle drugs from, like, criminalization to more of a health focus is the combination of the Naomi experiment in Canada and the Portuguese decriminalization experiment. Like, there have been proven examples where you can move towards a more health-focused version and not have massive negative downsides. Also, healthcare. Like, Every other modern nation has some variant of a universal healthcare system. And across the board, they pay less per capita, get better coverage. So it is objectively better <laughs> to have a universal healthcare system, given those facts. And even like a lot of labor reform, like pretty much every other modern nation has either a higher minimum wage or stronger union protections, and they all have paid leave. Every last one of them has paid leave. So... I tend to find that I become far more open to an argument if there's already a best practice reference point. So in that regard, um, politics being run as a business, actually kind of useful. Um, hmm. Now, is there any way I could extrapolate this? Meh. Yeah. Um, reference points... And like best practices in politics, I are arguments I tend to be more, pretty open to. So um.